following research we're about to look at. Honestly, I thought it was going to be picked up by a major media outlet. Henceforth, we didn't need the repetition of my aspect. However, I decided to wait a couple of weeks, and here we are today. Now, before I proceed, keep in mind, we're looking at the outcome of heart attack and stroke. There are a lot of other experimental uses for aspirin per se, so keep in mind, we're looking at the scope of basically those particular outcomes. So, let us proceed as follows. Canadians told to stop taking aspirin to prevent first heart attack or stroke. If you never had a heart attack or stroke, you likely should not be taking aspirin to prevent them according to new research. Researchers reviewed three large randomized placebo-controlled studies published in 2018 that showed the risk of any major internal bleeding associated with taking aspirin or taking an aspirin a day is higher than any preventative benefits. To proceed, quote, these aren't nosebleeds or bleeding gums. These are major internal bleeds where the patients need hospitalization and perhaps a blood transfusion. So they're a major clinical and personal significance. Researcher also stated, one of the studies also showed an increase in deaths from all causes. And this was kind of surprising to me. And in particular, cancer deaths. Among the patients who took an aspirin, also known as acetyl or acetyl salicylic acid or ASA. The advice, just reading from the research, the advice to take a daily aspirin to prevent heart disease became dogma in the 1990s, but it was based on flawed research according to the research authors. Now, we're going to go to the full study. My main objective here is not to break their research down per se, but is primarily to make you aware of the research, make you aware of the outcome, get you that DOI citation, and also as well the link so if you're a medical professional, you can look at it on your own or a consumer with your medical professional before basically uh, taking any personal advice upon uh, this particular study as follows. So to conclude, three recent large randomized controlled trials of moderate risk elderly and diabetic patients do not support the use of ASA or aspirin for primary prevention. The potential absolute benefit of about 1% is offset by a similar increase in major bleeding. All cause and cancer mortality were either unchanged or increased, remember looking at three different studies, increased in regard to ASA and or aspirin. Once again, those links will be there if you follow uh, me on the YouTube channel. Always seek uh, the advice of a medical professional. However, according to the Canadian recommendation from these researchers here, as a prevention, as a first line of use, uh, basically uh, they're recommending possibly other types of methods per se. So again, this is Ralph Hirsch Channel signing off. I hope you find this information of great use. Thank you once again for listening and I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.